Oh shit, here we go. What's up guys? This is Headcase on these sticks, playing a little Duels with Planeswalkers 2014, and today I'm going to be keeping this slow hand. But we're playing the Headcase Showcase still. I think I'm keeping this. Yeah, it's a little slow. Anyway, we're playing the Headcase Showcase with Sliver Hive still. I'm 6 and 0 with this beast. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm, I'm calling all challengers. Who, who wants to take down this deck? Because apparently nobody can. I don't get it. This deck is not incredible. I'm not pilot, piloting it any different, you know, like, just miraculously. I'm not getting, like, stupid, stupid crazy draws. It's just, you know, sometimes my opponents just snap kill themselves. <clears throat> sometimes they make crucial misplays. You know, stuff like that, man. I'm not really playing good. Not really playing terrible either. And I think I'm going to hope I naturally draw the land. Where do I just put down? Hmm. I'm going to go this route. I think I actually might Hive Stirrings next turn and then drop Predatory Sliver the turn after that. I think. A little slow, but I'm going to rock with it. Sulfuric Vortex. Alright, I cannot gain life. Freeze that shit, almost missed my trigger. Planes. Alright, getting in the groove. So I don't know if that was the best play. Bam! Oh, look at me go with that land, that's awesome. Uh, but, this is the route I'm going to take. Hive stirrings, pass turn back. Mirror Entity, oh man, like, I really want to get him down and be able to have him buffed at the same time. That's, that's expecting a lot though, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Cyclops, Gladiator, whenever he attacks he does what? Equal the power of target, wait, wait, what? I need to read you. Alright, you're a 4-4, four, four. whenever he attacks you may have it deal damage equal to its power to target creature, defending player does. God, that's going to wreck me. So, at least it doesn't, like, turbo wreck me. Because I can go land, Fred Sliver, swing in. If he blocks, I shock it. If he doesn't block, I still shock it on his turn, so. Go ahead, bruv. At least that thing's going to die. That's good. All right, shock you on my second main, and I pass the turn back. So we're getting in there. Got a pretty good board state. Flame break would wreck me, like at any stage in this game, pretty much, unless I have an untapped or untapped lands with mirror entity. Side. Whoa, shit. All right, so he he hill he hill pilled my old uh, predatory sliver. That's nice. Get in there. Get in there, bro. Come on. Yeah. I don't know. That could be bad for me, honestly. <laughs> I just wanted him to. So if he doesn't kill my mirror entity, I can win. He has two cards in his hand. There's a... Cultivate. Alright, so i pretty sure this is what I do. Bash, lay mirror, entity, and pass turn. Look at all this mana ramp in my hand. That's terrible. Oh, man. It would be nice to get Megantic Sliver, though. But I'm on a fairly fast clock. Like, I'm, I'm taking four every turn. That's really not good. Well, I guess I'm taking two literally every turn. <laughs> I'm taking four total. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I really don't. He's down to 11, so he needs to kill that mirror entity or he's going to have a bad time. I think I'm just going to ride on mirror entities. Like, I'm going to get in his backpack and take off riding on his shoulders maybe because mm, dumping my mana into stuff is going to be too slow, I think. I can't even drop Hive Stirrings, I don't think. So I just have to hope that he does not have... Holy shit. You sure, bro? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> if a so and you're swinging, my dude. 
You better. If, he's got to have removal. He's got to have pillar right here. He doesn't. He loses. What are you doing, man? Well, I'm going all in because, I mean, I lose if this doesn't work. Jeez, are you kidding me? Well, I win. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play another game. I'm trying to think. Let's see. He had Sulfuric Vortex. So, oh, God. I don't even want to think about it. I just really don't. I'm not going to play against this dude. I mean, it'll get me another game. 7-0 with Slivers! <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Alright, so that guy's name was like Honey Badger or something like that. I need to stay away from that guy. But besides that, I'm going to get back in there. Waiting on Sliverhive to be taken down. And I'm showing you every game. So, I mean, like I said in a previous video, you're seeing the bowels of, like, you know, Duels of Planeswalkers. A lot of players aren't that good. And I make misplays. And, you know, you don't really see that in games. Like, I'm not going to post a game where I play like a complete, proper fucking idiot and lose the game, you know? Obviously not. I'll post a loss if it's a really good game. But, uh, yeah, you're just going to see all of this shit. And it's a head case showcase. It's a little, um, little bonus, I guess. Alright, CR Todd. I'm laying down the gauntlet. Scissor dick. Scissor dick. Sodak LS. Alright, bro. Come at me. Let's go. Oh, don't tell me you're taking a dump. Man. Like, how can you forget? Like, God. How can you forget? Or maybe he knows this game. He's like, I'm pretty sure I could take a dump before somebody gets back in there. I don't know. I don't understand people that do that. I don't think I've ever done that. Anyway. Multiplayer, create match, free for all. Sliv the Niv. <clears throat> Sliv the Hiv. Land down the gauntlet on these kids. Let's go, guys. Oh, Beezy Breezy. Uh, I have been known to use the old easy. Ooh. Um, don't like it. Uh-oh. Got them all. This could be it. Wow. <laughs> Shit fucking balls, man. That's like one of the best six six land hands I could see. Bone scythe slivers. Nuts. Uh, hiya. I've never typed that. I'm in all caps, too. Holy shit. Rage mode. Whoops. Caps lock for you. Alright. Pass turn. Oh, man. Oh, beezy breezy. So go get the forest, pretty much on par to lay Bone Scythe. I'm going to get all my lands with dumbass there that I hate. Oh my god, I didn't crack my moth. Oh, Give me that shit. Oh, uh, whoops! So, here we go. Making misplays already on the second game. Oh, little mono green. Little explore action on the dick sauce. Okay. Go for it, brew. Bone Scythe is going to be pretty good because I need to have like a good mid range. Like Pred Sliver, and I guarantee you. I draw that land next turn, and it's going to be a mountain. Watch the rips. What are you doing? How's it going? <laughs> Great. Ugh, I can't do that. Great, man. I am having a good time, so fair enough. This guy is just chatting it up. We'll chat and Nancy over there. Farhaven Elf. Apparently doesn't like to play against Slivers. Uh, probably with that deck, yeah, probably not, because he doesn't have any removal, and if he doesn't, he's gonna have a bad time. Drew the motherfucking land! 
Bone Scythe, right on time, but get, guess who wasn't? Predatory Sliver. So what, that cost me two, right? Yeah, that cost me two. Let's see if it would, if he goes down to two. Oh man, I'm gonna rage so hard. All right, so two Striking Slivers is kind of shitty. I will lay Cultivate next turn, put the Mountain in my hand, and then that way I can cast the Striking Sliver next turn, guaranteed. And I really need him to slow down and have nothing. Like, land Primeval Titan, I'm just fucking sad. Farhaven Elf's okay. Farhaven Elf into Primeval Titan's bad, too. I do have a Bone Scythe Sliver I'll just start beating in with. I'll just bash his dome in until... Ooh. Yep, until, uh... There's a shock. Until he takes care of it. So, I need to make sure I do this right. Cast you... Alright, choose land battlefield tapped. Actually, I think I want both of these to be mountains anyway. Put one into my hand, you. Conform. Don't know why I'm doing all this. Uh, Precom, but that's going on. That's what's happening. So I'm swinging in for a bunch. I'm sure, he double blocks this. Like, just blocks both of these guys. Palaka Worm, I do not want to see. There's about 100 billion things I don't want to see. Any bomb. Because he is at 16 and he has 6 mana. Probably 7. With 5 cards in his hand. Man, that is really, really not ideal. Megantic Sliver is what I'm going to need to win this game, I think. If he, like, just goes land and I... There's a Primeval Titan! If uh, he just does that, and I put Megantic Sliver on top, that's or, or I rip it, that's GG's, right? Let's see, 3, 6, 5, 10, yeah, that's... Or land. Boom. Okay, so... Oh, man, I'm gonna lose my dude. I think it's correct. Man, let's see. I think it's correct to bash and lose my uh, Bone Scythe. Like, I swing in, he blocks this. Maybe he doesn't want to lose his Primeval Titan, he blocks one of these, and then I fucking shock it. Oh, my goodness. That would be awesome. I would not do that. I would be blocking down that Bone Scythe all day long. I wish Shock was Lightning Bolt right now. Man, I could just not... Oh, yes. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. That is... Oh, God, that's so good for me. Bash. Alright, so all I don't need... Shit, man. I might not even give a damn. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. I might not even give a damn about that. Like, I might save Shock for his face if I can get him down to four. I mean, down to two. But it's always nice killing a Primeval Titan. Even, if, even though it did two for one me. Please don't have anything. What is that? What is that? Yes! That means he can't have fucking shit! What is he gonna have? Another Primeval Titan? That's possible. He has five cards in his hand, dude. What What are they? Do they cost a million? The fuck are you? Holy shit. Three mana. Dude, It's it's got to be... I'm going... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, well, look at them Farhaven Elves. Holy dick. He's got bitches on on call waiting, dude. Farhaven Elves are kind of hot, I think. Oh, you bitch. Well, he definitely has probably like three bombs in his hand, and he has enough enough mana to cast them now. Man, shit. Still not out of it, but man, it's about to get real. He didn't have Plaka Worm, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, he now has enough mana for Terastodon. But the Eldrazi's aren't really that big of a deal. Um, yeah, it is. That big one is because he can go get old Buttercup. Not the big one. Not eat the betrays, but... Oh, shit! You shit. How long do you get the whole dick? You shit. Um, I... I don't know. I'm going to make it a rule where if he's real chit-chatty, I'm just going to kind of ignore it. Bountiful fucking harvest? 
What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Bountiful Harvest just getting owned by a Bountiful Harvest when I'm on drawing fucking lands like a beast. Oh, fuck. Getting owned by a Bountiful Harvest when I'm 7 0 with the deck. Oh, that's comical. I am having a blast. Not even raging on all these lands, but kind of want to bash. Just, I don't know. Don't really know why. Megant Ixliver is what I need. I'm going to go get this just because. So, Chatty Nancy is going to take it down. Man. Um, yeah, I need Megant Ixliver. I wish Double Strike stacked. And I could draw a Bone Scythe. Path Razor of. Ulamag. Sure. Oh, go for it, bro. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's see, I take eight. This thing has trampled, doesn't it? Sure. It's sad to see that, like, when now that it's finally happening, like, I don't want this to happen. Ooh, shit. It's not going to be good enough. He swings for 17. Double striking damage, so these get... This would be a three. Three. And five. So that's six, twelve. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm doing this. Like, I, I lose next turn no matter what, but I don't think that's enough. Well, I mean, unless this thing can't block. But I guess then he, he would have to block, right? Maybe? I don't know. doesn't even kill him okay well close game shock in hand it wouldn't have done anything because that primeval titan would have been kicking the shit out of me give me trample too heavens to betsy i don't know why i just said that but it's better than a cuss word ggs bro g to the g's why you shit why on my turn I don't know, man. Why do I, why do I keep clicking on that? I'm just I'm just angry now. Anyway, I am now what is that seven and one, right? Yeah, seven and one with slivers. Holy shit! Now the pressure's on me. I said I was gonna get to ten wins, and I have to win three games in a row. But this is gonna do it for the episode. Oh, oh, Neezy breezy McCheesy, finally took slivers down. Anyway, had a good time with this deck, and I still have some I still have some play to or uh, some play play time to get to. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and I'll see you later.